Hi, Robert Plamondon here. I run Norton Creek Press and also Robert Plamondon Hypnosis. And I want to do a quick little book review of a book I've just brought back into print after many decades out of print. Hypnotherapy of War Neuroses, a clinical psychologist case book by John G. Watkins, Ph.D. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, there's Jack Watkins right there. Uh, this is based on his work in World War II with uh, people with what was called at the time military uh, that's war neuroses, and that means PTSD and stuff like that. He's one of the first people to use hypnotherapy in the modern era for these guys. Uh, at the time, in the 40s, it was all psychotherapy, you know, the old Freudian psychotherapy, which took hundreds of sessions typically to resolve a problem, and they needed something faster. And so Watkins, during the war, wartime pressures, developed some really cool hypnotherapeutic techniques to work with veterans. And it was a complete grab bag of all the known techniques of the time used in any combination that came to mind. And he talks about what he did and how he did it. And this is a really cool book. Okay, this has got a lot of stuff in it that people find hard to have, hard to uh, find anymore. Information's sort of been lost over the decades. Before I brought this book back into print, the day before it showed up on Amazon, the cheapest copy you could find of this book was $200. And there are only a couple of them. This book is rare. Uh, and well, and, and prized, sought after by serious hypnotherapists. So let's go through what the contents are, shall we? I've got, got it right in front of me here. Okay, part one, military neuroses. She's going to tell us what military neuroses are like and what, what makes them different from other things that people work with. So we've got psychotherapy in a military setting. Uh, to clue you into how things are different when you're treating someone who's still in the army versus already released. A theoretical basis of treatment and strategy and tactics for working with these guys. Part two, hypnotherapy. Because a bunch of people reading this, if you had never done hypnosis before. Hypnosis past and present, inducing trance states, hypnotherapeutic techniques, advanced hypnotherapeutic techniques. Okay. Part three, individual case studies. And he had, you know, war neuroses. They take a lot of different forms, and he talks about a bunch of them. Uh, and these are all individual case studies. You know, one soldier who has a particular problem, and the treatment's covered not just the things that worked, but the back and forth, you know, the good, bad, and the ugly, in depth. Aphonia, amnesia, stuttering, suicidal depression, phobia, psychogenic skeletomuscular reaction, tremor, conversion hysteria, kempt, kemptochormia, hysterical paralysis. Then in part four is a very complicated case that he goes over and uh, takes several chapters to go through it. And the titles are all very fascinating. Margaret was an old man. The problem is much deeper. Conflict. One body, two personalities. The knife of Mr. Y. Dreams of fear. X approaches Y. And the masquerade is ended. And he finishes up with summary, glossaries of both military and professional terms, bibliography, and all that good stuff. Hypnotherapy of War Neuroses. 39.95 list. You can find it on Amazon and everywhere else. This is a this is this is worth reading. I mean, I know the book is a zillion years old, but this was a turning the corner into the modern era of hypnotherapy. And not only that, it has a bunch of stuff in it that they don't really teach anymore that still works, including uh, doing the rapid fire. This didn't work, so I'm just gonna, without transition, give you a different suggestion to change the whole tone and pace and of the session without without cute transitions, without bridges, without anything. Just go straight for it. Uh, once I read this book, I tried that. And it works. People in hypnosis are willing to follow your lead. And you don't have to jolly them through with lots of cute transitions. You can just go for it. A lot in this book. Uh, I think I think you take a look at it. It's really I, I published it again because I think people need to see it. Robert Plamondon, Norton Creek Press. See you next time.